guys, Dalsy here and welcome to another Hunger Games Challenge. Today's challenge is the F1 mode challenge and in the F1 mode challenge what you do is you press your F1 key and boom your heads up display is gone which means you can't see important information like how much health you have, how much hunger you have, what hotbar, uh, what's in your hotbar, what icon, uh, what you've got selected in your hotbar, how much XP you have, you can't see people's names. Uh, it's a pretty tricky challenge and uh, a lot of people see it as impossible but it really isn't impossible and I'll tell you why. Uh, basically, um, about a year ago, we used to play a bunch of kit PvP servers uh, with the soup and stuff. And uh, did I get a short? I got a short, man! Yeah! Uh, so, yeah, basically, I would play these kit PvP servers and... Um I got bored of the generic uh, PvP. It was always the same. Um, you get maybe a, a nice little kill streak, and then you die. A nice little kill streak, and you die. Um, you know, obviously, if you're on a kill streak, it would be pretty awesome. But it, it just got boring after a while, and so I give myself these challenges to do. Uh, and one of the challenges I gave myself one day was an F1 mode challenge. And so I tried to play on a soup server, on a kit PvP server, um, trying to use. Oh man, I missed that jump. I always, I was a bit, me missing that jump recently. I don't know why. Anyways. Um, and that's pretty difficult. You need to know how much health you're on, you need to know which soups you've eaten, you need to know when to eat your soup. It can get pretty tricky. Uh, oh crap, I'm, no, I'm not going to get knocked off. Anyways, uh, I managed to go on a 20 kill streak. That's the moral of this story. Uh, so whilst the challenge is difficult, it's nowhere near impossible because uh, I've been able to do it before. Now this guy is pretty stupid. He's either going to jump off the boat, which I would recommend. No, he's stupid. Okay. Stupid people are stupid. We, we don't care. We, like, super, oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> stupid people help us win the game. That was, that's my point. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, yeah. It's it's not impossible. It's definitely doable. It all depends on how well I do. Uh, if I get the hits that I think I'm getting, uh, that's always important. Uh, I need to keep checking up on my hunger level because uh, if I run out of... Like, if I go under however many... Um, food points it is, then I won't be regenerating hearts, um, so I probably should just be eating food uh, constantly, really. Uh, did I eat that? No. <laughs> I thought I ate it. I just guess I guess I let go of it right at the end. Um, so yeah, it, it's a it's a challenge where I need to remember a bunch of things. I need to remember where I've put stuff in my hot bar, how much hearts I'm on, how much food I've got. Uh, it's a pretty tricky challenge. And at the same time, I need to be really wary that uh, people might be uh, just around the corner from me. There's someone, someone could be on this boat and I wouldn't know it because uh, F1 mode hides names and... Uh, if the names are hidden, then I won't necessarily know if there's people there through the walls like I can normally do. So, uh, yeah, I could get surprised quite easily. Uh, everything is possible, and I need to be so wary. So, uh, it's going to be a really interesting challenge. Um, I'm hoping I can do it. I've had a couple goes at it, and I've had quite bad luck even just getting a sword. So, um, I don't think the challenge should be disregarded yet. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, the tricky thing here is I want to go in this cave here. And I don't know if there's anyone around. Like, there could be someone around the corner, above that hill, whatnot. And I wouldn't know it uh, because of the uh, no names thing. So, uh, we're doing all right here. I need that food. Anyone? Nope. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Did I pick up all that XP? I did, I think. How much? I'm almost at one. Okay, that's good. How much hunger? Or oh, hunger's all good. Okay, so, I, I'm feeling pretty confident. We've got pretty much full armor. Let me just check if I've got a helmet. I don't. Um, okay, so, we need a helmet. Um, I've got full iron armor apart from the helmet, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay. Yep, yeah, that will do. Uh, that will do for now. We need to find some people. And as said, without uh, names, it's so hard to find people. Like, I guess I could do that tricky trick where I do this. But I don't know if I can see names when I do that. So it might not. Oh, can I? No, I can't. But there's a guy on the ship. He's probably going to escape me. Uh, most people just jump off the edge of the ship. But he's in, if he's gone underground, which I'm hoping he has, then he's not going to escape me. Um, hopefully. Let's just go here. Because it's quicker normally. Nope, it's not at all. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's trying to get those sneaky hits on me, man. That was a, the bad thing about going down the ladder is he could have got some really nice hits on me. Oh, he has a friend. Hey, friend. Nah, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Oh, my goodness, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? How much health am I on? Two hearts. Need to eat uh, really badly. Okay. Let's just hold shift for now and see if we can't um, just regen some hearts nice and slowly. Take things easy. Uh, if someone comes down here, we might die. So we just want to be careful here. 
Just being careful. I don't think there's anyone on the ship. Hmm. I've made the mistake. Oh, deathmatch is about to start already? Wow, this is going to be a short video. Uh, okay, so helmet is good. Um, let's get the stuff. Did I get a bow? I don't think I did. Let's see if we can't find a bow real quickly. That would be beautiful. Uh, I should be able to regen all my hearts before deathmatch as long as no one tries to kill me. Uh, I don't have full XP because I could have enchanted my sword if I did. Uh, that's a shame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Okay, well, I'm pretty excited. We've done pretty well here. Um, I thought this challenge would be pretty easy with a taste, like a hint of difficulty, and uh, I think I was right. You know, it's taken me maybe two or three goes to get it right, and uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with our progress so far. Uh, let me just shut down a couple programs because I'm getting a bit of lag. That should do it. Yeah, I think that's helped a little bit. Okay, how long till deathmatch? Four seconds. Are you guys ready to rumble? Um, I don't know how many hearts I have. This is going to be the most tricky part, Is especially if these two guys are teaming, which they don't seem to be. Uh, okay, cool. That guy's lagged out. Awesome. So this guy should be pretty easy because he keeps backing off. Uh, I don't think he's got me at all. Um, awesome. He's going to jump. No, he's not. Okay, that was a bit silly of me. I should have used my fishing rod there. If this uh, other guy who went AFK... Um, wait... Did I win? I won! Awesome! That's the F1 mode challenge. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, I thought I could do it, and uh, obviously I did it pretty well. So, if, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, make sure to recommend some challenges uh, in the, the ch comment section. I can't speak. In the comment section below, uh, if you want to see me do a certain challenge, then, uh, yeah, make sure to link it. And, guys, thank you for watching the F1 mode challenge. My name's Dalcy. You've been the awesome sources. Catch you guys on my next video. Peace.